dude, after April 1st, it's going to be, it's going to be a little silly uh, because there's just, I mean, it's just a six month open enrollment, you know, it's going all the way till uh, August now. So even more than six months, I guess, right? or, or four months, I guess. So well, what, um, what's your thoughts on that? Do you like that? Do you hate that? You know, I, see, so for me, <laughs> for me, the glass is always half full, right? I mean, um, the opportunity is going to exist regardless. I and mean, it's going to be a great opportunity if you make it a great opportunity, right? So a lot of people are like, well, there just won't be the hype in open enrollment. But like, hey, man, if you if you take advantage of the next four months and then open enrollment, like you're, you're going to make more money, like period. Uh, other people are like, well, it's going to just really do a lot of damage to the uh, short term medical market and and the you know the private health insurance market it's going to kind of uh, it's going to kind of take away from that but listen there's there's always ebbs and flows and and whatever 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 I've learned the biggest thing I've learned is just do, doing the right thing right is going to make you money so if you if you just continue to uh, put people where they belong right whether that's ACA private plan whatever and you don't worry about the money the money will take care of itself. Right. I mean, it just it just does. And I just actually uh, to tease a little YouTube video I did, I, I just did a uh, I just recorded yesterday or the day before. Um, you're you're going to love this, Cody, uh, five selling three. You think you could sell three policies a week for five fifty a month? You think you can sell three? Yeah. You think you can do it for 50 weeks straight? Yeah, I think I could do it for 500 weeks straight. But what do you think? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? 50 weeks straight of three policies at 550 would 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 net you as far as income? You mean to say what I thought before or what I think now? I mean, split the difference, I guess. Um, if I was going to say before, I would have said ah, probably like 75 grand. But knowing <laughs> you, it's probably like it's probably like a quarter million bucks. It's two hundred and forty three thousand dollars. You are almost dead on. Yeah. Um, that is so I, I did it. I did an example or I, I used a scenario of a 40 year old male, 40 year old female uh, making like, you know, one hundred and fifty grand a year total. Right now, obviously, when you when you look at that income filter, you are going to narrow down the market like your market is going to be narrowed down because you're looking for people that are making over one hundred fifty grand. Mm -hmm together but dude there's a lot of people making over it's, it's still a huge market you know what i mean and so that that is three policies for a husband and wife 40 years old 550 a month that's at like a street level comp it would be if you do that th you know sell three policies that's almost five grand a week in commission and a quarter million dollars over the course of a year if you can do it for 50 weeks straight well, think about that though like if, if all you did was focus on finding the right people every single week and you stopped all this extra crap and, and you were like, okay, for the next 30 days, I'm going to go as hard as I can. And I'm going to find the people that hit this niche and yep. I'm going to close 12 of them. I'm going to find 120 and I'm just going to close 12. Like you had to do it yep. and your life depended on it. Could you pull it off? Like 100%. you could in, in a freaking week. I could in six days. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Um, here's here's how I think of it. Here's the, the 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 perfect analogy for this too. Because yes, you're gonna find those people, but the other people that you come across, you can still help. So what I what I picture, right, is like sifting through mud or dirt for for gold, right? When you're sifting for gold, you're going through a lot of freaking dirt, right? If you've ever watched that show, uh, gold rush or whatever you see yeah. like they're just i mean they're grinding day in and day out they're sifting through mud they're looking for gold okay and then when they find that gold that makes some money but imagine you have a sifter right and the dirt that's coming through you're separating you're selling that dirt okay you're making you're making like 20 bucks but but you're still making money but then you find the gold and it's like boom you know and there, there's your 1500 dollars in commission and also hey by the way all the dirt and i hate to talk about <laughs> This conference I've ever been to. It's my second year in a row. Ah, what is that? Did, did you didn't catch it? What was it? No. Oh, it was it was me uh, uh, saying the best conference ever or whatever. It was yeah. your, it was your eight percent testimonial, but I was gonna wait, and then it just started playing. So there we go. <laughs> it was meant to be. Um, so so yeah, imagine that the dirt is is profitable as well as the gold, and I mean it's 
That's the whole idea. And if you're talking to 120 people, really, you should be talking to like 120 people a day. I tell my agents, I tell everybody, your goal should be to have 100 conversations a day, not make 100 calls. You should have a you should have 100 connections, I should say. You don't have conversations that might be you know, too many for conversation, but people are going to hang up on you. People are going to tell you no right away. You're going to breeze through those ones. You can have a hundred conversations a day. And if you do, right, you're going to find a lot of that dirt, but then you might find one little gold nugget that's going to make you, you know, 1500 bucks or a thousand bucks or whatever. Right. So it's, it's, it's crazy to me. Um, you know, that the, the the, the mindset that some people have when something like this happens, like when, when the news breaks, they immediately go to, Oh, great. You know, like, Oh, there goes, there goes everything. Uh, we're, you know, we're not going to be able to make any money now. And, and if you be, like, if you believe that it will be true, right. I but if you believe you can make the most of it, that will be true as well. I asked myself this question when that came out, right. When I learned that it was extended and I learned that because of you, I'm like, I have no flipping clue. <laughs> nor, nor do I really care to be honest. <laughs> right. The, my first thought was Brad will view this as an opportunity while everyone else complains. First thought, I'm like, everybody else is going to flip and whine and complain and make excuses and, and they're going to psych themselves out. How you talk to yourself matters. And Brad's going to say, this is an opportunity. At first, he's going to say, he's going to think, oh crap, naturally, right? That's normal. But then he's going to say, dude, this is an opportunity. Yeah. Get your mind right, and everybody else is going to be around you is going to be flipping complaining. Yeah. Dude, I, it's an opportunity to grab a lot of business is what I see. Yeah. It's just, I mean, and it's and it's the it's the data too. Like, I mean, you, you're literally, if you're what doesn't matter if you're making 20 bucks a year on that policy or 20 bucks a month, right? You once you have them as a client, right? Client acquisition is everything. Once you have them as a client, you don't know down the road. I think the one of the coolest stories, man, is and and I'll probably butcher it a little bit. But the CEO of my company, right, Joe Eichmann, he's, a, he's an incredible leader. He's an awesome guy. But when he started in insurance or before he started in insurance, he was a valet, right? He was parking cars. Some guy told him he was a brain surgeon, told him, well, son, the reason why I get paid more is because the bigger the problem you solve, the bigger the paycheck, right? So, so Joe started solving bigger problems. Well, he met a guy. I think he sold him a policy made like a couple hundred bucks, I guess, is, is really the the kind of the, the baseline of that story is he, he didn't make much money off that original policy. Um, but then like years later, as this guy was a client, he called him and he said, Hey, uh, and I, again, I'm going to butcher this probably, but he called him and said, Hey, the state is giving me a half million dollars that I have to spend on. And I don't know the exact number, but I'm just saying that the half million dollars that I have to spend on insurance, right? Can you help me? He solved that problem. He made a massive paycheck and he's been friends with that guy ever since because, because he took the opportunity. So again, it doesn't matter if you're making $20 a month off that policy or $20 a year. You don't know. That person that has $40,000 in the bank or $20,000 in the bank or is just over the Medicaid threshold and you're, and you're selling them an ACA plan and you're not making any money on it really. You don't, that person may start a business the following year or, or, or years later that has hundreds of employees that, that grows to hundreds of employees that now yeah. they need you and you took care of them when it mattered. So uh, you, you absolutely have to, uh, you know, keep that in mind. It, oh man. I you thought you were about know. to roll over the whiteboard. You never know. You never know. Uh Oh, when you're going to land the knockout punch. Bro. <laughs> you never know. That's right, That's right. Actually, Grant said it this morning on the, uh, that Grant said it this morning on the training that I was doing. Uh, yeah. You know, we we train every morning. Uh, we 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 jump in uh, to Grant Cardone for about fifteen minutes. I talk for about you know ten, fifteen, sometimes forever, and then we go uh, to Grant Cardone for a minute. And this morning he said, "Man, in your life, you will have you'll find one deal. You'll close one deal that's that's going to change your life." And he's like, "I already found that deal. It changed my life. Now I'm looking for the next one." And I'm like, dude, that's so great because that really, is, I mean, dude, I'm, that's what got me motivated this morning to, to feel like, man, I'm going to go looking for that deal. Like I'm going to go looking for that one big deal. Like I'm going to go whale hunting, right? I'm going to have some fun. Well, dude, you, you, people can go out and collect, uh, I learned this a long time ago, dude. I can go collect $200 at a time or I can go um, put on conferences with a thousand people. Or I can acquire agencies for for two million bucks, or I can go ask investors for seventy five k, or I can go buy a real estate property for a hundred grand, or I can go 
you know, X, like I can, or, or we can start, I told our team this morning, I'm like, dude, you guys are in our marketing building, which is literally right there in a different building. I'm like, you guys can, you guys, I said, who, I told him, I said, raise your hand if you believe that $25,000 is a lot of money. Most of them raised their hand. I said, that's the problem. Yep. The moment you solve that, everything else will change. Yeah. Yeah. Once you, once you get there, then it's like, okay, now I'm here. Now what? Right. And, and there's people that are watching this probably. And there's people that will see this, that, that they, they respond to that comment, right? They, their inner, their inner self is like, oh yeah, easy for him to say, right. Or whatever, whatever that is like, whatever, whatever, like you're, you're telling yourself when you hear that is the reason why money does not flow to you, right? You're literally stopping the flow of money because of the way you view money, right? Like if you view money as a bad thing or, you know, whatever, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to come to you. Like if I don't like Cody or he doesn't like me, he's not going to come hang around me, right? If you don't like money, I mean, I'm not saying you have to love money, but like if you don't, if you don't, you know, have that mindset, it's going, it's going to avoid you. Like, like it's literally going to avoid you. And I can, I can speak to that because I was that person. Like I was, I was that person making twenty five, thirty thousand dollars a year. If I was lucky in construction, working my butt off, thinking this is it, man. This is this is my life, and you know, hey, I'm I'm happy, I'm content, I'm complacent. Really, was what it was. Yeah. But but I didn't view I didn't I didn't you know I didn't view money like that. I didn't view money as a tool. Um, I didn't view money as an opportunity to make a difference, make a bigger impact. Like the more money you have, the more impact you can make. That's a fact, right? Yeah. What, what flipped the script for you though? Because there's a lot of people out there that are making 25, 30, 60, 80 grand. Dude, freaking insurance, man. It was like freaking yeah, insurance. Because you, you, to go from 20, 30 K to the monster you are today and, and, and go from not really caring about money to driving a Range Rover. What freaking flipped in you, man? Like something woke up. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was, um, you know, I think it was that first, that, first year that I made six figures and and I really like knew I had another gear, right? Like I like, yeah, I did good, but there's a whole lot of things I could do better. Like I just knew I had that other gear and I feel the same way now. And you feel that way. And oh. like, man, if you look at the business and it's like, dude, we did really good. Like we're, Hey, we're having a great week. We're having a great year, you know, whatever that is. And then, and then you look back and you're like, but if I could do this or better and I could do this better, we can double that. We can triple that. You know what I mean? I was talking to one of my friends today, actually at the gym this morning. And he's like, dude, I don't, I don't know what the heck's going on, but every month the team is up 30%, 30%, 30% over the month before. So literally, you know, three months, you've just doubled your production and then three more months. And I'm like, dude, that's incredible, man. Like that. And I said, what do you think it is? You know, like what, what is it? just culture, man. It's culture. It's the mindset. It's the, it's the limiting belief is now off. They know what they're capable of and, and now they can, they can hit it. And I don't even think they know what they're capable of. I don't think most people do know what they ca they're capable of in the video that I'm dropping next week. I talk about this a little bit and, and we've heard it said before. I, I want to say, I heard it from Justin Brock. I'll give him some credit on it. He said, people underestimate what they can do in the in the short or overestimate what they can do in the short term and underestimate what they can do in the long term and and I think that that is just so true man and so the fact that you're putting on a conference spending a whole day on mindset there it is spending a whole day on mindset I think is so important man and and I hope people don't miss that and I hope people don't uh you know well uh, dude for 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 everything to change you got to change. And I can tell everybody watching this right now, the, the 14 that are on in the group, which it took me, took me 15 minutes to realize where you were going live, by the way, um, <laughs> this, this is the only thing that can hold you back from getting whatever you want. Yeah. If, like how you talk to yourself matters. Most people are negative. They're whiny. They're complaining. They make excuses. They blame everybody else. Winners accept responsibility and they blame themselves. All right. So those yeah. watching the moment you start accepting responsibility for your failures and your successes and everything. Right. I had a crappy year. It wasn't COVID's fault. It was my fault. OK. And then they start accepting yeah. responsibility and then you start flipping the whole. Uh -oh. script. You're good. You just and cut saying, out a little bit and saying, dude, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. I'm the secret sauce. Brad is the most valuable asset in his life. Yeah, but do you really take responsibility for everything? Like, what if something just happened to you and you didn't like? I mean, do you, do you still take responsibility for that too? Who it wasn't in my control. Who cares? That's right. 
right? So, everything in the world, everything in the world you take yeah. responsibility for. If we had someone, we had someone literally running an ad to a landing page with pictures of me on it, trying to sell their course while calling me a ripoff at the same time. <laughs> we got wind of it. I accept responsibility that I got. I can't believe you found my landing page, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so then Andy shut that down real quick, or I can promise you our attorneys would have. Yeah, However, right. um, and, and, and it's like, who, who sells something dissing somebody else, number one? But I take full responsibility because the dude wants to be me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I get it. I get it. And that's dude, that that's funny that we already just hit on two of the three points. I think there was three that I that I recorded yesterday for the for you know mistakes that new agents make. And that's that's one of the biggest ones, man. No personal accountability. And you've got to hold yourself to that higher standard. You you literally like, I mean, again, yeah. when you do really well, you can look back and probably tell yourself, like, hey, I got another gear. Like I I know dude, I have another gear. I've got a hundred more. Yeah. And you haven't, I mean, and you haven't even hit the next one. And then when you do hit the next one, it's like, Hey, you know, and that's a, that's the abundance mindset. That's the, you know, living life to the fullest type mindset. I mean, Hey, it's not for everybody. I get it. Some people want to, uh, you know, I, I don't know what they want to do, but. Oh, um, they want to get notified on their phone. Like you do every 14 seconds. That was, because, you're, because you're, you know, you're freaking Bradley Hannon. That know? was sweet, man. Everybody wants time with Brad. Hey, speaking of that, here's 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 one thing. While we're live here, while we've got uh 14 viewers and and you know there there will be more watching the replay and I, and I can't see how many are watching it on on YouTube live and things, but uh here's what I'll say, man. I have had more people reach out in the last 3 days, 2 3 days telling me, "Hey man, thanks so much for the videos and and the training and I've learned so much from you and uh I I'm getting into insurance, right? Like or or hey, I, I just started with this company or uh, whatever the case is, and they didn't come to me, right? I, I, I just, I'm a little like, my pride is hurt a little bit in those moments. I'm certainly happy for somebody, like, hey man, I'm so happy you made that jump. Um, that's awesome, you know, like, whatever. Yeah. But dude, why didn't you come to me? So like, I've got to say, while we're live, while we, you know, while while we're watching the replay, and there, if you're watching the replay, if you're out there and you're like, hey man, I love what Brad Hand does. I, I would love to, uh, you know, work with him. Dude, reach out, man. Reach out and and let's let's work together because honestly, like that's my biggest goal right now is just to mentor agents to you know that six figure mark with insurance. And dude, we we're talking we we're talking this on Clubhouse. Like so many people look at compensation. And they look at like leads and things like that, but they they forget the most crucial piece. And that's, will I have a good mentor? Like, is my upline going to be the person that that can help me with my problems or help me get, you know, to that next level? They may be intimidated by you and, and your guns and, and, and you know, red hair and, and tan and all, like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, dude, yeah. you're, you're a big dude. This, this is this is not tan. This is this you're, is red. You're called big time Bradley Hannon for a reason. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love how that nickname is is sticking. I I, I don't know that I don't, like know, don't know that I love it. I don't know that I love it. I just like Brad Hannon for sure. Until you hate it, people are going to start keep using it. So, uh, all right. So I know you've got five minutes. Okay, yeah. I know you've got like five minutes left. So we'll wrap this up here in just a minute. Um, this is proved to be really valuable. This is the first time I've used this tool, and and uh, and so we really just wanted to test it out, but. Man, we've we've I think you've shared some some serious value. I think we've talked about some awesome stuff. But one, the one thing that I want to know as we kind of close this out uh, is one, what's your what's your numbers goal? Like the like number of people that attend this year for eight percent nation, and and two, what's your like what's your goal this year specifically with the conference? Like, what do you want to see different? What do you like yeah. like what's different about this year other than the fact it's three days? Thousand people. In 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 the room, I don't right. care if I can put chairs outside the room and they can hear. That's right. the, we're not buying a culture ticket. I, that's not my. I, I accept responsibility. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, two, okay, two. Um, the experience, the speaker talent, and the overall theme, I can promise you, will make the last three years look like child's play. And three, we're going to elevate the entire party experience. We're even adding a welcome party the night before in the ballroom. 
Love I it. May, or may, may or may not be hiring a big time performer to come in and perform before we kick it off. You missed that last night on Clubhouse because you were late. Oh, did you share it? Well, I can just tell you that we're looking heavily into several people, including Little John and Vanilla Ice. Oh, gosh. I did see the Vanilla Ice thing. I think Vanilla Ice would be uh, would be cooler than Little John. I've, heard, I've seen Little John a couple of times. He's good, but uh, yeah. Vanilla Ice would tear it up. Is he, like, got gray hair now, or is he, like, how's he? How's I don't he know, doing? but he's still doing it, man. He's, he's still, still doing it. it. That would be awesome, man. Well, listen, guys, as we wrap this up, um, you know, obviously you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow uh, follow us on Clubhouse. We actually started a club on Clubhouse called Insurance Influencers. So if you follow that, you'll get notified when we when we do 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 rooms and things. And by following it, just by following it, you immediately become an influence insurance influencer. Immediately, like it just happens the second you press the button. Um, but we, I would be doing you a huge disservice if I didn't say that Eight Percent Nation really changed the way that I view not just not just events, but the insurance industry as a whole. Um, if you can, if you can make it there, which you can. You need to be there. I've got 50 tickets. I've got uh, 50 more coming, hopefully, when those when those sell. I want to promote this, not because, I mean, Cody's my good friend. Love to do business with the guy. Love to do yeah. life with the guy. But, man, the, the event will change some lives, and I want you there, right? So, uh, oh. any last thoughts, Cody? Dude, you guys want to wake up? You want the knockout punch in your life? You want something to freaking take you to the next level? Okay? I want to be that for you. Brad wants to be that for you. We're putting on events to make sure that everything changes in your life. But if you don't show up, it's your own fault because you got to accept responsibility. Life passed right. by and it didn't get good for you. And it's all your fault. <laughs> That's the theme of this would be uh, accept personal responsibility. So uh, thanks for coming on, man. This has been fun. Uh, if you're watching the replay, like I said, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, we'll be dropping continuous content there. I'm having so much fun with it. Also, make sure you reach out to me. Just let me know what you'd like to see. I, I, I'm having a blast with this. So hey, I, I don't have a uh, I don't have a, a Range Rover, but I'm gonna go get in my Audi SQ8. All right. That thing's quick, man. I think you would smoke me in a. Well, I know you would smoke me in a race. So it's like 550 horsepower. Who uh, wants to find out though? Who wants to find out? That's the real question. Yeah. Okay? Have you even driven that car? Or do you just continue to get driven around in it? I, I, I hope I continue to get driven around in it, even <laughs> though that, that doesn't actually happen. But I would love yeah. that. Yeah. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming on. Let's uh, let's wrap this up. Let's do it. Thank you, guys. Hey, if you love this video, you're going to love, okay, I got behind the scenes with Jordan Belford at our conference about how he can help new agents and what he would do if he was you. Check that video out. You have to get them into the habit of dialing or out. It's got to be top of the funnel. People are scared to dial the phone, scared to go to 